Welcome back to UMG Orlando and Mr. X. Joined by Benson over here to my left. What are you doing? Hello. What are you doing? I'm having a good time. What are you doing? I'm having a good time too. You saw TK yeah. come back in that hard point game right there on Biolab. You know, to take that 1-0 over phase. Going into this S&D, it's going to be Terrace. Yep. Map that we've seen phase play pretty good t amount of times in the Pro League and the 2Ks and 5Ks. Uh, but they look very strong on this map. It's going to be interesting to see how TK is going to come back and kind of counteract what they do. Yeah, TK actually have one of the worst search and destroy records in the Pro League. It was like 3-11 and 11 last time I checked uh, yeah. before I flew out to Orlando. Or I know they had a one evening of games which I aren't accounted in that stat. But uh, we'll see if uh, they can come out strong on land. Kicking things up. I want to see Looney with a sniper oh. rifle, but Aix is just like, oh, no, nah, you should have been looking at me, my friend. He manages to get that first kill against Looney. Assist comes in as well. As Slasher picks up a kill. Aix being so aggressive. Three plays down already. Leaves Theory in a one versus three, and he falls before I even had a chance to change onto him. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah, Matt. A little bit. Coming into Advanced Warfare, I have never seen Aix use a sniper rifle. And I know <laughs> since yeah. his game's come out, we've seen him use it on, I know, many different maps. This one, Detroit, uh, we've seen it on Recovery as well. And now I'm a, actually a pretty good sniper. Yeah, the, the phase guys have been known for using sniper rifles and also, I mean, remember when we saw Apathy use it in Uplink Detroit? Yeah. And we were both like, okay, this like is something that has unusual. to be wrong, but it definitely wasn't. Yeah, he, he managed to make that work for him. Theory is going to be the bomb carrier this round for Team Calibre. He's actually going to pull out the sniper rifle overkill, looking to see if Apathy's going to peek. Not going to happen. He is going to see Aix jump. Go for the jump shot. Oh, misses. That would have been nice. Unfortunately, not getting the timing look he needs. Actually, tags up a player, not able to get the kill. Apathy left, one versus two. Theory, of course, with that bomb, needs to just do the smart thing. Run, try and get that bomb plant. It has Goonjar in support, three and one. A two streak for now. Apathy, though, is going to clean up Goonjar. And I believe Theory, yep, he's just going to do the smart thing, get that bomb down. Apathy now, one on one versus Theory. Yeah, and I like the way Apathy's playing this a little bit slower. You know, we usually see a player after they plant bomb jump right up onto that mid plat, but no, Theory. Playing to his advantage right now. He's got that mute going. It's going to be Apathy. Going to have about 30 seconds here to try and get this diffuse out. There he should just check that bomb. He has done. And now he's going to see Apathy any second. I think he just did. He's the pre-aim. Got to pick up the kill on Apathy. And TK level it up. One round apiece here on Search and Destroy Terrace. Yeah, huge win right there for Theory here up against uh, Apathy one on one. Now, once you get bombed down over there by A, there are so many different spots you can you know, hide so out. It's so tough. I mean, you have to check in it. Like, especially that far back spot, which is exactly why Theory was lying, right. looking towards his own spawn. It's such a common place to, to try and uh, come from. Yeah, I feel you have to check that place first, because so often you'll have a defensive player who's just by the bomb hiding up there. Um, Theory really playing that one very intelligently. Now, though, round number three, FaZe on the attacking side, and it's going to be Doug Sensor Martin with the bomb. Yeah, and they're going to be very aggressive going over towards this, but you see the play call out of TK. I Pretty love much it. The exact opposite of what FaZe is doing, so... It's going to be interesting to see Apathy in a phenomenal spot. Apathy could pick up a, a couple of kills here. I think he just saw one jump above him. And there's still a play just to his left-hand side here. Apathy playing this one as cool as a cucumber, not moving at all. Already a couple of kills go down. It's just him and Sensor alive. And Apathy needs to be careful because he is going to get spotted. And Sensor now, one on four, just gets flooded by TK players. And I love that call from Team Caliber to just, you know, go full on aggressive on that defensive side, go for a full flank. And it pays off with that diffuse. Yeah, they went full flank right away. They did not hesitate at all. Right. Very good play call right there from the guys on TK. Like you said, though, one of the worst S&D teams in the Call of Duty League. Yep. Very shocking. I know Black Ops 2 and they Ghost. They were so good. Right, that's what they were, known for. I mean, they were known for. They were known for their S&D. I mean, they always struggled on respawns, and their S&D was so strong, kept them in games. Right. So kind of the polar opposite here on Advanced Warfare. It just it just shows the difference between all, that online and, and that LAN. You know, TK just really step up to another level. Uh, he's right now looking at Theory on the attacking side. Not going to hit that snipe, but his teammate is going to be challenging. He misses the shot on Apathy. And he's just going to have to call that one out. However, it is just Slasher and Apathy alive for phase. And Theory could actually go for the bomb plant here. Uh, as his teammate picks up another kill. That leaves Apathy in a one versus three situation. Players going to be rushing him. He pulls out a sniper rifle. That's a little bit ambitious for my liking. And he is going to fall in Team Caliber. Go three rounds to one in the lead. I mean, even if he was the pick off one of those players with that sniper rifle, that the other two players pushing him right away, don't think he would have had a chance to win either of those gunfights. So uh, actually, nice shot right there from nice. Kunchar with that sniper rifle. Sons of sniper action on Terrace. Uh, very long ranged you know, map. You always see some crazy snipes at the start. We'll see if 
Slasher, is he going to go for anything crazy? On the attacking side, nope, hasn't got a sniper rifle out. Sensor definitely won't. Apathy or Aches, really. It's going to be Aches looking for the shot. And everyone for Team Carbon managed to stay alive early. Aches just checking to make sure no one is rushing. Slasher already gets first blood in the round, however. Sensor goes down, Gunja shuts down Slasher as well, so Aix now needs to push. He's going to level up the playing field at two man apiece. Yeah, and you uh, kind of see FaZe getting a little bit predictable with their strategy, right? I mean, they had one strat where they push straight to A, and then they have this other strat where Aix tries to get the pick off the start. I uh, you know, really haven't seen much of variation out of any of them besides that, but you see Aix going to make this a one-on-one. -on -one up against Theory, this would be an absolutely huge round if FaZe can get this if they're going to try and win this map. Both plays the opposite side of the map though right now. Aix actually had a chance to pick up that two-piece against Theory, but uh, just unfortunately didn't look the right way. Theory 4-1, and one, three streak currently. Uh, did Aix see? Oh, I think he did. He pulls out the sniper rifle. He knows he's there. Goes for the jump shot. Oh! oh! That's why he's in FaZe right there. That was a nasty <laughs> snipe from Aix. This was absolutely filthy, Ben. You can see the... <laughs> just the tip of Theory's head. Are just, you serious right yeah, now? Yeah, he shot his head right off into another galaxy. That was insane. That was that was a good snipe if you ever seen one. <laughs> good? It's a, yeah, it's a little I bit mean, better than good. I mean, there's certain words I don't want to use live on there. Let's just put it that way. Junja with the bomb though. 14 caliber is going to be pushing down this right-hand side. Seven and three. He's going to have a play directly in front of him. Not going to see him, of course, but actually the hitmarkers go down and Sharp picks up Slash up with the grenade. And Yujar looking to try and push towards that bomb. Yeah, you know, TK's doing a good job of getting that first blood. Uh, you know, the last uh, you know, two rounds they were able to get it out pretty uh, easily, but you know, not able to clutch that last one out. Gunja sitting pretty at 8-3. and three. Just going to play it patiently. Sharp, meanwhile, looking towards the back. He's going to be patient here. Uh, he just sees him, does so. Apathy managing to stay alive, though. And I think he's expecting Sharp to actually just go for that challenge, but Sharp doesn't want anything to do with that. He's going to just push back towards his teammate. Why would Sharp not challenge right there? I think, uh, you no, know, Apathy, I you know, was super weak. If Sharp was just going to push out of that room and, you know, just uh, take that kill on Apathy, would have been able to, you know, finish that pretty easily, put him in a two on one, but. You know, Sharp looks like they're just going to rotate all the way around the map. I like this play out of TK. Yeah, smart. Gunja with that bomb is going to be able to get that down. So now the ball in Apathy and Sensor's side of the court. They have the two players really that need to make the play. Looking at Sensor's perspective. And he's going to have to play this one a little bit passively. Apathy is going to get shut down. Sensor trades the kill. So one versus one. Sensor versus Sharp. I mean, this would be another huge round for FaZe if, you know, Sensor's able to clutch this right here. He's actually going to see the player directly in front of oh him. No! Oh, my! Are you serious? <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, that's killed the morale in that FaZe group right there. Yeah, they had, like, a lot of momentum, then right after that, it, it kind of went away. All right, someone called Worldstar Hip Hop up because Kariz was look just at ended Sharp. on that he day, like, dude. It, like, it's almost like nothing even happened. Sharp just chilling, man. He's like, yo, yeah. just another day in the office for me, bro. Don't even worry about it. We got this. We got this. Sharp six and three as he goes on to the defensive side. Sensor going to have to try and uh, just get that one out of his memory as quickly as possible. However, Looney already gets first blood on Aix. And Sensor trying to push back towards that right-hand side of the map. But great start for Team Calibre here in Session Destroy Terrace. Full two up. Yeah, I think what the real big difference is, though, is that uh, you know, TK's been getting these first blood. It's so consistently... So on this S and D right here, you're gonna see three players go down for phase. Just gonna wow. be one player alive. TK gonna go one round away for winning this S and D on Terrace. Just possibly going up 2-0 in this series. Such efficient play from T Carver. You know, you pointed out yourself, Matt. The first bloods, all about the first bloods, picking them up, and it just shows how efficient T Carver are actually being. You know, after they get that first blood, to be able to get the second blood, then clutch up in these four versus twos, not giving phase anything in this game. As now Gunja, who's 11 and 4, is going to go back onto his second side, of course, with Team Cal Team Caliber. I mean, you can see the only round that I would say TK kind of gave away uh, was the round where, you know, Aix was able to get that sniper on Theory. You know, right. He was in a 2v1 situation. Uh, obviously, if they were able to you know, win that, play that a little bit better, this would be already over, but and obviously not the case. Aix able to clutch it, but still, you know, pretty good S&D play from TK. Another first blood comes in favor of Team Caliber. And they're going to get another kill as well. So three versus two. 
Theory on your screens. Looking at that minimap though, it's going to be this play. Potentially with a gunfight. Looney, he's going to have to try and win it. Going to have to back off though, because there are players all around him. And of course, Looney with that bomb too. And he's been a little bit careful about his positioning right now, Matt. Yeah, I mean, I love the play though to go help his teammate out. There's going to be one player from FaZe still alive. It's going to be Apathy. He's going to have to go massive here if, you know, FaZe is going to stay alive. It's in a very interesting position though. Could potentially get pinched if he isn't careful. Of course, Sharp and Theory alive. 14 caliber. Apathy's going to see Theory melt him now. Just needs to get out of there. One versus one. Sharp looks as if he is going to try and hunt that kill. 24 seconds left. Sharp sees him. Double jumps. Misses the shots on Apathy, but he knows Apathy's got to be weak. Immediately rushes to go for the challenge and catches Apathy from behind. Team Caliber with the 6-2 victory here on Search and Destroy. Yeah, I mean, just two massive plays from Sharp, right? I able to clutch that round against Dog and then able to win this round here. Gets Apathy in the one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to put FaZe in a very tough position now, you know, come back in this series. Next map's actually going to be Detroit Uplink as well. We've seen the yep. FaZe struggle on this map a few times. Really smart plays coming out from Sharp. You know, as I said, got him one shot, immediately ran at him. Team Caliber, 2-0 up in the series. I thought it was going to be a 3-0 to TK, and they're not disappointing as of yet. For now, quick commercial break. When we return, map number three.